Baltimore Municipal Airport was packed with planes of all sorts today. TV 30's Asia Vickers was there uh, for all the fun. Livermore Airport was all abuzz today with vintage bombers and the people who love them. It's a fantastic opportunity to showcase the airport and the activities that go on in an airport, not only to the school children, but the parents who accompany the children as well. Vintage B-17, B-24 and B-25 bombers were the main star of the show, but local pilots were also there to show off their planes as well. At those three aircraft, we also have uh, the California Department of Forestry, the California Highway Patrol, as well as several of the planes from our local airport here. Denise Loom Van Dusen started the event last year because she felt students didn't really get enough opportunity to learn about aviation. And since the airport is right here, why not make use of this wonderful resource? The bombers are here, and that's why I coordinated this event around the bombers, because it's such a piece of history that the kids don't always have such an opportunity to learn firsthand about in the classroom. Since aviation uses a lot of math and science, it can make those oh-so-boring classroom discussions a little more interesting. Uh, I was talking to some of the students about it. They're learning to do addition now. Well, if you add up five of your friends, uh, maybe at that point you decide whether or not your airplane is going to be able to get off the ground. In Van Dusen's experience, kids always seem to learn easier when they get to see things in person. It's cool to see them like up close rather than just in the movies and actually see what they were doing and all the levers and the actual bombs and all that. How things really are actual size and how people actually died in these planes and stuff. It's just it's, cool. it's an experience. Hands-on learning is a real benefit to students. They always retain better if they can actually get up close and personal with equipment and people. The aircraft presentation is not just to help kids learn, it's also a great way to get them interested in a career in aviation. Uh, air traffic is uh, becoming more popular and we're going to need pilots. So. It's good to see the kids out here. They don't have to fly airplanes either. If they want to go into meteorology to learn about the weather aspects, they can do that. If they wish to learn about navigation, they can do that. If they wish to learn how to put out uh, forest fires, uh, they can do that. The career possibilities are endless. But teachers don't just bring their students here to learn. They really want the kids to have an appreciation for something that carries so much history. On a personal note, my father was a captain in the Air Force and flew B-17, so it's a very personal um, trip for me. This is going to be the last generation to be able to see these airplanes and be able to see what's going on with them and to appreciate what happened during World War II. So that's one of the reasons I like to try and bring the students out and have them connect with what the history was. Asia Vickers, TV 30 News, Livermore.